Hi there, welcome to the Schwelven's Nest. My name is Sandra and I'm so glad you're here. I am so excited to share that spring and summer has finally arrived here in Canada. We've had some wonderful weather, so I was able to get outside and do some decorating in my yard. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. First, I'm giving this tag sign a couple of coats of white chalk paint. Then I'm going to take a stencil from Essential Stencil. I'll have it linked down in my description box. And this is just a watering can with some florals. I'm going to just use some black paint paint and give it a good stenciling with my makeup sponge and clothespin hack that I like to use. In order to hang this tag it needs a hole so I'm using a really large drill bit and I'm going to drill all the way through and just make sure it's a nice big hole. Before I add some rope into the hole I'm just going to take the sponge with whatever paint it has left over and just kind of run over the edges of this tag sign just to give it a little bit more of a distressed look. I'm also going to take the sponge a little bit across the front of it too. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that red button. Next, I'm going to take this really big birdhouse. I've already attached a two by four block to the bottom of it, just using some screws. I'm gonna give this a couple of coats of white chalk paint, making sure I can cover up all of those bright colors. Then to add some contrast, I'm going to paint the roof black and I'm also going to paint the two by four black and that will just give it a really nice farmhouse traditional look. I have quite the collection of stamps now. I've got rubber stamps and silicone stamps. So I decided to grab this mason jar one with the flowers and I'm gonna put that in the corner. Then I'm going to take a wreath and put that around the whole of the birdhouse. And I thought that turned out really pretty. And then I'll take a rubber stamp and add a cute little butterfly to the one side. For the roof of the birdhouse, I'm going to use this little garland stamp. Now, this is something from a dollar store, I believe, and I'm going to be using my block. I finally found the block, and I know a couple of you have asked, why don't I use a block? Well, I couldn't find them, so I finally found them in my stash somewhere. I don't even remember where they were, but I'm going to use this white ink from Michaels. It's a Craft Smart brand and I got it for 40% off. Look at those pretty little details on that stamp. I just love these. This project is just making over this plastic pot. I want it to look a little bit more like concrete. I'm going to take my dark gray paint and this is just latex paint. It doesn't have anything special on it. It was just something I had in my stash and I'm going to make sure that I get into all the grooves. It really only needed one coat because I'm going to be doing some distressing on it afterwards. I'm going to start by using this chip brush and some black paint and I'm going to give it just some really light touches as you can see here. I just want to accent some of the lower edges and the raised edges and I think the black just kind of gives it a little bit more of a rustic look. Those are the projects I have for you today in this video so now let's get outside and take a look at how I redid my little nook on my deck. So this is the first area in my backyard that I want to redo. It has a bunch of junk just sitting here, but this is the area in between my sliding door that comes from my dining room and the gate where we go outside. So I thought this would be a fun little corner to start with. I'm not doing any real flowers this year, although I shouldn't say that. I do have a little bit of a garden and I do have a couple of pots on my front porch, but I just grabbed some of this artificial lavender from Walmart and stuck it into some floral foam, weighted down the pot with a few chunks of wood and then set it down. Last year, I took this board and put this old rusty claw rake head on it and added a chain to it. And this is where I'm hanging my little tag. I added a couple sprigs of greenery to it just to make it look like there were some herbs that were drying out in the sun. 
The little birdcage next to it is something that I thrifted and you'll see that in a thrift haul coming up in the next couple of weeks. I added some succulents to it and the hanging succulent is actually one that I picked up from Timu. This was a super find last year at a garage sale. It's a really crusty old copper pot. You can see the patina on it already. It does have a cute little handle. I decided to fill this with some artificial black eyed Susans and some greenery just for a more of a farmhouse look. I picked up this lantern from Facebook Marketplace. I think it was about $10. It's brand new, it's gorgeous, and I really love how it looks. What I decided to do was just hang it on one of the plant hangers from the Dollar Tree. I added a jar inside and just popped in one of the Dollar Tree's solar lights. I'll probably add something to the bottom of the jar, maybe some rocks or some sand, just to give it a little bit more weight so it doesn't topple over should a big gust of wind show up. Another Facebook Marketplace find was this rose topiary tree. I think I got it last year for $12. And it's really pretty, but I had all intentions of creating a eucalyptus tree out of it. But I'm going to use this in my backyard in this corner for now until the greens behind it have a chance to sprout. These little rock creatures are really popular up at our farmer's market. I picked this snail up, I think probably about 10 years ago already, and I really love it. It comes out every year. And here's the little birdhouse. I think it's so cute. I decided to just screw it right into the fence board. That way it's not gonna move and it will just stay there all summer. It turned out really sweet. I love the black and white. I'm also reusing some of the items that I created last year for my backyard. I had a set of two of these solar light lanterns on either side of my deck porch but the one broke so now I just have this one and I thought it would look really nice just standing here. It has a flickering flame light so it's really neat. I also wanted to add a water feature. This little solar fountain I got on Amazon. If I can find the same one or a similar one I will link it for you down in the description box. The bowl that I'm using is just a lid from one of those really large platter trays that you can get, like when you order sandwiches. I picked these up at a party store and that was for my son's wedding five years ago and I still have some extras laying around. I took some dollar store rocks and put those down on the bottom, added a little turtle, this deli lid is just plastic and it's very flimsy. I added two of the deck boards that I had left over and put them on top of the stump just to give it some extra support. Two more things that I added was this bloom where you are planted sign that part of the fence was really empty and above the hanging lantern I put one of my new Timu wreaths that I got and I think it just dresses it up really nicely and makes everything look so pretty. Let's take a tour.
Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and got inspired to start decorating your outdoors for the summer season. If you like this video, here's a couple more that you might want to take a look at. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and the notification bell. You don't want to miss out on anything else I have to share. Bye for now.